Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a variation listing using TCG Automate in a very quick way because with TCG Automate, I added a feature recently that can quickly make a bunch of variation listings in a few minutes as compared to hours on eBay. And I just want to show you guys how simple it is and show you exactly how to do it in case you have any questions or get stuck on any parts of the process. And if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of variation listings. It has made me a ton of sales on my eBay store. I've got over probably 90% of my sales are from variation listings. So that's why I thought of it to be very important for this. And that's why I included it on TCG Automate. So let's get into it. And if you haven't set up your account yet, check out my first video I made with how to set up your TCG Automate account and start listing cards. I'll link that in the description. So once you get everything set up and you add all your policies and store categories, what you'll want to do is go to this list cards page and put in the information you need. So just fill this out however you want with your store category, the batch name, the overall price that you want to be selected for all the cards, the condition. For variation listings, I just do front only. I feel like showing the back of the card is not necessary. And then the TCG that you want, we currently support Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, and a bunch more. You can also select your card type. This helps with eBay item specifics and then your finish. So let's say it's a bunch of holo cards. You want to pick holo. Then what you'll do is you'll click this upload card images. It currently supports 500 cards to be listed, whether that's front and back or just front only. But the variation listings on eBay are limited to 250 variants. So do not go above that or else it will have an issue. And then once you get all that ready, you'll click the submit batch. And then once that's ready, you will be taken to this page with all of the information of the cards. So in this example, I'm doing a bunch of hollow rares from Sword and Shield era, and it will show you all the prices, like the market price of the predicted card and then the reverse hollow version as well. If something's wrong, you can just click view, type in the name, or it will show some other things that it thinks it is, like this message research hollow, which is what the actual card is. And then you can just go to your next card, keep going through to make sure everything is correct. And then once you finish, you're going to want to click this download variation CSV. And then it'll open up this dialog so you could put the title of your listing. So for this one, I would type something like Pokemon, Sword and Shield, Hollow Rares, choose your card, English, near mint. Something simple. Add in a lot of keywords so that eBay will promote it and be accurate to who it's showing it to. And then for the file, this is where you will choose the parent image, which is the overall listing image because all the variants will have their own card image to be shown, but you're going to want one specifically that will show up on eBay search results. So click on this choose file and I'm just going to use an example one that I made the other day or like for another variation listing, which is this EX choose your card and it will show a preview just to make sure it's correct. Let me zoom in just so you can see. So like these are the ones I do on my store. I show an examples of the cards that are included. And then I also describe it a little bit like EX, EX Scarlet and Violet, choose your card. Just make it eye, eye catching and appealing so that people will click on it and get a good feeling of what exactly the listing is. And then once that's finished, click this download variation CSV and it will quickly download it. And then it gets you this perfectly formatted variation listing, has your title, has all of the variations. You could fill out more categories if you want to, like the card name. You could set, I believe it's up to 10 or card names that you could put, card type, specialty, anything like that you could edit if you want. And you can also verify that the image is correct. So let's go here and just look it up. And as you can see, it gets the image perfectly. So then once you get that listing CSV ready, you're going to want to go to eBay and then go to this reports page, uploads, and then you'll scroll down to where it says upload template. And then all you'll have to do is just click the variation file that it created and let it load. Variation listings take a little bit longer since there's more data to be added. And then once it finishes, it'll say that your upload is complete. So let's just see what it looks like when I go on the actual listing. So right here it shows up and let's just click on it. 
So it has the overall image and all of the variations right here. And then when you click on one of the variations, it shows the image exactly as you expect for all of them. And this makes it a very great user experience for the buyer, and it will encourage them or lead them to make a lot of purchases within one listing. Most of my sales are from variation listings because people are buying 10 plus cards at a time because it's just so easy for them to do so. Because let's say they wanted a bunch of cards from that same set or same rarity, they could easily just click on one of them, click add to cart. I can't add my own items to cart, but you see what I mean? They could just add them all to cart and then check out at once. Makes it a lot quicker for them. So that's how you make a variation listing with TCG Automate. Very quick, very easy, only takes a few minutes. And then some things or some issues that you should be aware of so that you don't run into it is you cannot have a variation duplicate. So let's say I had this Reggie or this Ludicolo. I can't add the same exact one with the same exact name here because eBay doesn't allow duplicate variations. And one thing that I'm going to be improving is editing the variant title so that you could customize it in the same way that you can customize the title of regular listings with TCG Automate. Because one thing I like to do is put the name and then the number as well. So I'm going to be adding that soon and improving that aspect a little bit more. But overall, it makes very good listings, very good variation listings. And it also ranks pretty high on eBay. I've noticed that a lot of my cards that I've been listing with TCG Automate have been selling pretty quickly and I'm selling reverse hollows for $3. So try out variation listings. Let me know how you like it and hope you guys are having a lot of success with your eBay stores.